So some of you probably like, I don't know, a week ago or so saw that I reviewed this, this right here, right? And this is the, uh, maybe more than a week ago. This is the Mayono boom arm. Now I haven't actually moved this upstairs, which is where it's going to go because of course I didn't have anything to plug this XLR mic really into at this point. I really didn't want a big mixer board because I do have some big mixer boards down here, but space upstairs is a little bit more limited. So I didn't want to do that. But Mayono has a small little, they call it a podcasting console. But for me, the big bonus is, as you can see here, it's the streaming audio mixer audio interface with preamp. Preamp, that's big, right? Bluetooth, built-in battery, which is cool because all of these that Mayono has, uh, they can be charged. Two things really good is that I can still do some work here at home if I lose some power because I can you know, hook up to a laptop. My cameras have batteries already. Uh, this can run off battery already. Um, plus it can, it can power, power my mic. Uh, it has phantom power, which is kind of needed for this microphone. Uh, three sound pads for live streaming, uh, podcast recording, uh, vocal voice, voice over, and it's the AMC2 Neo. Uh, I don't know what AMC, this is says C2. Maybe the AM is something else. I don't know. Active Mayono audio, audio. Awesome Mayono C2. Yep. Anyways, uh, Canadian. This is Canadian dollars. Eighty dollars regularly, which would be awesome for just any kind of mixer. Um, but it has a right now fifteen dollar off coupon. So that's super awesome. And really, for me, all I really needed was something that had XLR. So I think this is going to be great. So uh, let's uh, take a quick look at some of the specs on their on their Amazon listing. We'll crack it open, and then I'm going to take it upstairs. I'm going to take up this boom arm, and uh, I'm going to um, put it in its permanent home. Okay, so picture-wise, there it is. Looks great. Uh, 60 dB gain range, 48 volt phantom power, which is awesome. I love how look how small it is. That's great. That's going to be perfect. It's not a whole lot bigger than as you see here as a phone, but you can you can Bluetooth to it, which is also really good. Uh, one stop streaming mixer, so you got a microphone gain, an accompaniment, an accompaniment, mm -hmm. monitor, and output. Really, just the basics, which is for a lot of us, that's all we need, right? Because we a lot of us are like, for me, it's just me. I don't need three microphones going and nine different things and presenter modes and I don't need it. I need something that's just going to do what I needed to do. And this a good, good, good value. If it, if it functions, uh, customizable sound pads, you can upload and personalize your sound effects. So you have three. So if you do want to have audience cheering, clapping, you can, and there's a little video there. I may watch that. You may watch it as well. And, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. One stop streaming mixer. All right. And here's your 15 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it says it'll work for about seven hours working time. So basically a full day. If you lost power for a full day, you could still you could still do some do some work, which is which is great. Okay, this is it, Mayono Global best selling internet microphones. I agree. I I have a lot of Mayono mics. They're, they're pretty good, especially on their at their price point. Um, this is this is the box. I guess AMC2 Neo podcasting console. Very nice, very, very nice, very nice. This could be something you could just take with you, you know, throw that in the box. Oh, see how, how pleased I am. Look at that nice manual. Big, everything's well laid out. Uh, it's not like booklety, but it's large, large print, which is excellent. So you got a microphone gain knob, accompaniment volume knob, battery level display, Bluetooth LED indicator and switch button, USB and stream output level knobs, headphone volume fader, and a 48 volt phantom power supply switch. That's all you need. That's all you need for most of us. That's all. Oh, see, that's perfect. That is going to be perfect upstairs. Oh, yes. Perfect. I'm going to say it. I did say it. I got to clean up this room at some point. Anyways, there's going to be your power. So you're going to have uh, USB-A to USB-C. And I'm guessing this is USB-C on here, which it is. Uh, just realize too, and this is the big thing, it doesn't come with any power 
uh, brick, right? So you're gonna have to supply your own power brick. Uh, this is your headphone jack. If you need a headphone jack, I guess this would be for, I don't even know what that would be for. So I guess that would be to get it into your, maybe, I don't know, maybe get it into your computer. This also could be, I'll have to figure that out. I have to figure out which way this is going out to the computer. Let's look at this first. So we have your auxiliary stream out. I'm guessing this would be your stream out. So this would go out into your computer, maybe? I have to, again, I have to figure that out, how that this is connecting. I would have thought this, maybe you would just plug it into your computer and the computer would give it power, but maybe not. Again, if it, if it, most computers that have a headphone jack, the headphone jack is an in and an out. So my guess would be we could use headphones out or stream out to there or headphones, headphones, we probably put headphones, auxiliary, I'll, I'll set, I'll, I'll figure that all out. You guys can see it. And then I'll explain once I get it upstairs, how I got it functioning. Uh, this is going to be your XLR microphone, which is awesome. Uh, you have your USB-C and this one says, this one says, I don't know. It's got a little, it's got a little lightning bolt on it, but I have to figure out what that is. Does it say on here? The instructions probably do, you know, things, things, things I should probably look into. Uh, 48 volt, good. Yeah, I'll have to do some looking, I'll, I'll, which I will, which is good. They have a little stand. This, does it come with a little stand? No, it doesn't come with a little stand. I like that little stand though. See that little stand? Looks like it's just something for reading, reading like uh, like mu music notes or something like that. Okay, anyway, on the front, you have your gain. You guys can see it. You have your gain, your auxiliary volume. This is your main volume. This is gonna be your mic indicator, your out level indicator and your, your headphones. You also have your 48 volt phantom, your Bluetooth, reverb presets, side chain, direct monitor, pitch presets, noise reducer. Uh, I'm not a big fan of noise reduction through here. I guess some may, especially if you're live streaming because you can't do it after. But for me, because I record everything and then I edit it, most of the time I wouldn't ever do this because I'd rather do it afterwards so I can figure out how much I want, if I want it at all. And then there's going to be your uh, sound pads for your different sounds sounds that you can pre-program. It may have some already pre-programmed in it. Uh, battery indicator, it looks like right there. And these are little light indicators just to show that everything's ready to ready to rock. All right, let's go. Let's go take it upstairs. I'm going to figure out uh, how to hook this in, and then uh, we'll use it. All right. So we have got the Mayono C2, I guess AMC2 Neo hooked up. I have it just over here on my right hand side. You guys can see it here in a little cutaway. Um, and I do have my Mayono stand right here, which is nice. And to just kind of confirm that I am using this microphone, I'll just kind of move this around and keep talking and you shouldn't really be able to hear me very much and bring it back and we should, should be good. Uh, now for me, I am using also a shotgun mic on my camera so that it gets decent audio just in case I do have an issue with this, then I can use that if I need to, but this should be better. Now, a few things to realize that, well, I realized when I hooked this up. Now, first off, on the back of the actual C2 device, as we saw in the unboxing, there is two USB-C ports. One that has a little lightning bolt on it, which is the power. And then the other one says USB-C. Now, uh, the power one, of course, is for power. It's to power it, it's to charge it, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, the other one is the USB connector, which is what you would connect into your computer, which is what I'm using right now, so that the computer actually sees the little mixing board as a mixing board. So it sees it as an input device, because without that, it's that USB port's not going to work. Um, so a few things that you have to really realize is that you either have to make sure you charge this in advance so that it's running off of its internal battery, or you're going to need another USB-C connector uh, and a power brick so that you can uh, power this. Now, for me, what I did was actually use the included USB-C port. I just kind of plugged it in. I let it sit for like a couple hours. It was probably at about 75-ish percent power. And then I could just 
move the USB-C to the other port so that it my computer actually sees it as like an, an audio input device. So just kind of be aware of that because the, when I was testing the microphone at the start, I of course uh, just plugged it into the USB port and then I recorded for about, I don't know, five minutes just to test it with just getting my my volume right, my you know my levels and all that correct. And then I realized that I had ran out of power and I was recording nothing is what I was recording. So kind of be aware of that. Um, on the front, of course, you do have your uh, like mic input, how the power for the mic input, the main dial on the front is actually the output for the USB port. So for going to your computer and then the right hand uh, level leveling switch, whatever is for your headphones. Is it working? Yeah, it works great. If, for me, this is just really what I needed to see. And what I like about it is even when I'm sitting here and I'm kind of looking at my microphone talking or talking over here, the mixer board is just kind of over here, just right like there, which means I can reach over and touch it, but I can see the lights going up and down on it so that you have, or I can actually see that the output volume is good and that the mic is picking up really well, which is which is actually really good, just being able to see those indicators because without those indicators, uh, you're recording without really knowing anything. So I'm gonna have to say, uh, for me, I'm not gonna test this really as a, a, like a live streaming, which is kind of what it's for, but for those of us that are looking at taking their uh, XLR mic, being able to run it into a mixer board, something that supplies 48 volt phantom power and being able to, you know, move up and down the, you know, the, the volume strength and the output strength and just do a little bit of that. Uh, this is really good and, and very budget friendly, especially if you get that little bit of discount, that $15 discount on right now, which brings it down to like, I don't know, 60, 65 bucks, something like that. Plus, it does give you a little bit of room to grow if you are going to be someone that's going to be doing some live streaming and you want to be able to plug in uh, an external line in device or you want to be able to plug in or have a Bluetooth device hooked into it for, for music and things like that. Plus, it does have those three audio inputs um, for, for doing like little sound effects if you want, whatever it is, clapping or swooshing or what doesn't matter, whatever it is. It has all those so um it's hard it's hard to beat for that price really i remember when i bought my first just a 48 volt phantom power adapter by itself that you know ran on batteries it didn't come with batteries but ran on batteries i think that cost me like 150 200 Th this this is way better way better all right guys that's it this is the Miono uh amc2 neo and uh for the price it's it's hard to beat links down below if you guys are interested and uh i'm gonna leave you there this whole thing was recorded off of my mayono mic with my mayono stand through the mayono c2 nice later